Let's take you not to Toronto, but or or Tampa, but hopefully to Philadelphia for the start of our game. Oh, we get a little extra basketball. I guess that's what we're doing. Oh, we got a bunch yeah. of games on tonight, including the Brooklyn Nets, who are again a half game back of the 76ers as they get set to start. We're about to bring you the Suns and 76ers. Phoenix 25 games over 500. Philly 21 games over 500. Shout out to my cousin Rick down there in Tampa. He's a hate for you. I'm enjoying this Toronto basketball. He got a few, a few seconds of bonus coverage. Yeah, yeah. A little bonus coverage. All right, now we're back. To All right, now we're to Philadelphia. Let's listen in. I don't hear any audio yet. Hopefully we're going to hear the voices of Mark Zuboff and Allah Abdul Nabi. And we'll step out and talk to you at the half. He's on the floor. you got to double down smartly. Uh, you can't go uh, before he maybe he makes a dribble. Uh, because if he can see it coming, he's going to pick you apart. And then the 76ers rely on their abilities to make threes. Just get the space in for him. Well, the one thing you can do is to get off of them too much where they can just kill you from there. you got to make them put the ball on the floor, okay, Ray? And I think the Suns will have an advantage if that happens. Yeah, right on cue, it was MB driving inside. His book misfires on the Suns' first shot attempt. Here's Court Motz has played well over the last several games. And he figures to get big minutes here tonight. And MB comes right out of the gates. And he is fully intent on trying to make up for the loss of Harris and Simmons. And certainly that... Of Curry, it's a lot of numbers that are in street clothes. But also, Embiid, is, you know, he's got one thing on his mind as well, other than obviously making the playoffs and having a chance to win the title. And that is to have a chance to win MVP. And although a lot of people think he can't get it because he's missed so many games, I'm for one that says I don't trust that and believe that because uh, he has been dominant all year and he's been dominant since he's come back from injury, which says a lot about his rehab and his focus. So I think that's one of the reasons he's in the lineup. Up, K. Ray. He knows he can't miss too many more games if he wants to get votes for the MVP. Yeah, I think a lot of people, when they saw that he was listed as questionable, and it came as a surprise to even the folks there in Philadelphia who cover the team that uh, several hours ago that all of a sudden his name popped up as listing as questionable. And I think a lot of people looked at their upcoming schedule. They've got a back-to-back -back situation against Milwaukee playing Milwaukee tomorrow and then again on Saturday and, and of course that carries significant weight in the Eastern Conference standings. Yeah, and, and the season is winding down as well. And obviously players are going to be nicked up, but I, I for one is just shocked that for the game of this magnitude, how guys can't put that uniform on at least drop. If he grabs the rebound, thought he was fouled on the put back at Tim Suns, look the run. Here comes the Philly native Bridges. Drops a pass off the Crowder, missing that three-point shot badly. Three feeds it into the corner, sets up the three-point line. And Arcon Kornbaugh, the three-point shooter at 37%. Scored 10 points in their loss the other night to Golden State. They were held at 96 points in that loss to Golden State as they ran into the human blowtorch that is on Steph Curry. Curry tied up. Shot clock at three. Crowder takes the contested three to get it right back. And boy, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. But this was your big display there by Jake Crowder. Yeah, he didn't rush it either. He looked right at the shot clock so he knew how much time he had left when it got blocked the first time. That second year man, Matisse Thibel, a terrific defender. Here's Gorsmont on the drive. DA got a piece. Loose ball scooped up there by Embiid. And then a reach and foul. Cold against Jay Crowder. And this will be one of the issues tonight is the number of free throw attempts that Joel Embiid gets as you see the reset there for Crowder. Well, I think eventually this is where we would like to get DeAndre Ayton to. The Suns don't get to the free throw line a lot. And Philadelphia doesn't have a lot of guys that draw fouls either. But Embiid can get you there all by himself.